My dear students, today I would like to discuss a very amazing short trick here, which will save a lot of your time. If at all this type of problems will come, you can solve this problem by thinking in a different way without solving lengthy derivations. Now let me go ahead with this problem here. Uh, this is a, a typical type of problem. If you observe in this problem, he's going to ask you one thing. What is that? Uh, what is the velocity? He's asking us to find out the velocity. I'm marking here with uh, my red color pen. Uh, so he's asking us to find out the velocity. How are you going to find out the velocity? Okay, so he's asking us to find out the velocity at the LHS and right side also you have to get velocity only then only your answer is going to be correct here. So whether how to check whether LHS and RHS is going to be same uh, for that a simple logical and technical shortcut is you just take f is equal to zero in these problems, okay? If you just take f is equal to zero in these problems here, you will see that if you apply f is equal to zero, problem, I mean, option number A goes wrong. Option number B also, option number B if you check here. So velocity is equal to V times of square root of mg plus zero because I have taken f is equal to zero and uh, mg minus zero okay so if you take force as zero then what is going to happen here you will get mg mg under root which is going to be one here so you will get a, a v is equal to v lhs is going to be equal to rhs so this type of a little bit out of box thinking is helpful for almost all the students who are going to appear for the computer exams like j mains and nate 